It's not about high vis, it's about movement, it's about being seen and being acknowledged. This is Brian. He's a flight engineer in the military and he's on his way to work. You may have noticed him. He's the person that rides with a pool noodle attached to his bike. And I have cars buzzing me all the time. They come within, come within centimeters of me. I've been ticked twice by mirrors on my helmet from vehicles going by. You must give a, a safe distance to a person riding a bike. It's quite intimidating sometimes. And I don't usually get intimidated. So a few years ago, I saw, um, I saw an article. I believe it was in a newspaper, but it could have been online. But the uh, buddy in Toronto was uh, a commuting to work and getting buzzed by cars all the time, so he said, enough of that. So he put a pool noodle on the back of his bike. So he said, well, that's a very smart idea. So for five bucks, I have a pool noodle on my bike and cars are magically scared of it. I don't know why or how, but they um, just stay away now. When sharing the road, a car driver passing a person on a bike should allow at least one meter of space between them. Brian's pool noodle acts as a visual reference to help car drivers pass at a safe distance away. They've just enacted some laws in uh, New Brunswick, uh, Nova Scotia, Prince Edward Island, Ontario, that vehicles must pass by a meter. It's less than a meter off the uh, edge of my uh, pannier um, to, the, to the tip of that. So if a car comes closer than that, that's too close. Brian is committed to bicycle safety education. He is also part of a team that advocates for active travel by bike. I've been a member of the Colmox Valley Cycling Coalition since its inception, since its first meeting. About three or four years into it, I decided to um, run to be a board member. So the Comox Valley Cycling Coalition is about advocacy for safe cycling in, in the Comox Valley. We advocate for riding a bicycle is, is a reasonable thing to do. The other thing the coalition does is about education. And we've done bicycle rodeos for over 3,000 children in the valley so far um, over the last couple of years and we've had cycling skill courses that we do for adults all the way up to, I think our oldest student was 82 years old. We teach people how to maneuver in traffic, how to, how to be part of traffic if that's um, part of the way that we have to live here to, uh, to ride our bicycles. But our main goal is, is uh, to advocate for safe cycling in the valley, put in the infrastructure, make sure that people are aware that uh, they see us when, when we're riding our bikes.